Hi, this is Miss Clark and I'm going to be talking you through the poem Poppies by Jane Weir. Jane Weir is a writer and textile designer who grew up in Manchester in Italy and has also lived in Belfast. Poppies was one of a collection of the 21st century poems commissioned by Carol Ann Duffy in 2009. So the poem is basically about her mother who describes her son leaving home to join the army. The poem is about her emotional reaction to her son leaving and emotions include her feeling sad, lonely and scared for his safety. She describes helping him smart in his uniform, getting ready to leave and as he leaves she goes to a place that reminds her of him to his bedroom and also the war memorial, desperately trying to find any trace of him. So the poem reads... Three days before Armistice Sunday and poppies had already been placed on individual war graves. Before you left, I pinned one onto your lapel, crimped petals, spasms of paper red, disrupting a blockade of yellow bias binding around your blazer. Sellotape bandaged around my hand, I rounded up as many white cat hairs as I could, smoothed down your shirt's upturned collar, steeled the softening of my face. I wanted to graze my nose across the tip of your nose, play it being Eskimos like we did when you were little. I resisted the impulse to run my fingers through the jowled black thorns of your hair. All my words, flattened, rolled, turned into felt, slowly melting. I was brave as I walked with you to the front door, threw it open, the world overflowing like a treasure chest. A split second and you were away, intoxicated. After you'd gone into your bedroom released a songbird from its cage later a single dove flew from the pear tree and this is where it has led me skirting the churchyard walls my stomach busy making tucks darts pleats hatless without a winter coat or reinforcements of scarf gloves i'm reaching the top of the hill i trace the inscriptions of the war memorial leaned against it like a wishbone the dove pulled freely against the sky an ornamental stitch I listened, hoping to hear your playground voice catching on the wind. So three quotes that you could zoom in on in this quote to talk about her feelings are when she wanted to graze my nose across the tip of your nose, play it being Eskimos like we did when you were little, of her going back into the past and remembering fond memories. Also, after you'd gone, I went into your bedroom, released a songbird from its cage, symbolising her son leaving and flying free like a bird would. And finally, the third quotation that I would use is I traced the inscriptions on the war memorial, showing her sensory touch to show that she was slowly tracing them, hoping not to find his name um, with the theme of hope still there. So you could compare this poem to several poems, including War Photographer, Kamikaze, and look at the loss in the poem of the emigre.